All right, rooftop reviews, we're back, yeah. Okay, so third part, third video tonight in the cold out here on my roof. It's funny because if I listen, I can actually hear the bats flying over around the lights. It's interesting. You can hear their wings doing this. You know, when you see flickers, of, when you see lights and you see flickers of, of the, well, any of the lights flickering around you, the bats are there eating the bugs flying around. It's interesting, very interesting. Anyway, so rooftop review. Okay, so I was one of those people that uh, when the Oniyuri uh, sword came out, uh, it was a Takakureru uh, Biken, or Takakureru uh, Katana, Dai Katana, or, excuse me, Takakureru Shinobi Katana, excuse me. And I had to get it, but I was like, you know what? I want to be able to use this in class. So I got the one that was that had a non-sharpened blade, any item, right? So that was nice, and, all. and I was gonna go buy a Shinken live version, live blade. But then by the time I was able to do that, they stopped making them. So I was like, you know what? What am I gonna do? I said, let me go see if I can find a Shinken that I could purchase at a reasonable price that I could actually use to cut or use to help defend my house. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, right? So I found this one online. Now this wasn't expensive. I'm not even sure how much this one was, but it it, it does what I need. It's full tang, right? Uh, ray skin on it. Um, it's really nice, right? So this is it. I posted about this a while back. Okay, okay. So this one, I believe, let me see. Let me take a look So the documents here. I believe this one is made by Rujin Swords. Um, everyone thinks it's all fancy and all that stuff, but it's, uh, let's see. Oh, here's a documentation for it. You can pause the video to look at that real quick. Rujin Swords there. Okay. Um, it looks like the, uh, the person who, it's funny. Uh, it says the, uh, it was created by Mr. Samsung. I don't know if that's a joke or not, but it's pretty funny. Um, but it has all the dimensions of the sword, a series name. So this this blade is called Hatomoto. Um, it's a very nice design, very nice design. And it does what I need it to do, which is, as uh, Doug Markaito would say, it will kill. I had to say it like that, because he just says it, and it's really cool. Um, so most of the time, it's like, I may not buy a sword for its because it's ex it's expensive. I may buy a sword just simply because I want a functioning blade that can just if I if it needs to get beat up and needs to get destroyed, then I'll do it. If it will cut, if it will, yeah. But mainly, if it will cut, if it it can kill. Um, so this is this blade here. So pull this off here. Okay. Now the Suba is an oval design. It's nothing fancy that you can see here. If I can turn around the other way, you know, it's nothing fancy, just an oval design there, you know. Um, basically, looks like a regular daito or a katana, as you can see here, right? You know, like I was talking about, look at the minuki right there, really nice. I believe, yes, this one, the suka is double pinned, which is great. I love that because you always want to have a backup, always have a backup, okay. Now, if we open it here, lock it here. As you can see the blade here. See the hamon. So this was not mass produced in the sense of a carbon copy sword. Each blade, the hamon is different. Slightly different, okay. So, as you can see here, I'll hold the uh, saya up next to it. You can see the saya. You see the difference in the length of the blade? So it is a Shinobi Katana. Um, the Suka, I believe the Suka on this one is about 10, maybe 11 inches. Um, it feels really good, it feels really good. So think about it in, so you talk about how, when it comes to Shinobi Katana, when you, you know, we've had that, that idea you see in movies and stuff, a lot of Western movies and the blade was straight. We know those are, those are not real. Those are not real Shinobi Katana. Um, Shinobi Katana was just a shorter 
blade, but with a longer saya. And if you needed to have a shorter saya, you could um, for clandestine activities at night. You didn't always run around with, say, you know, a long saya. Um, one thing I did is I took two blades that I had. I had uh, a daisho, a set, uh, wakazashi and um, and katana. And I actually like, you know what? Let's, let's let's mess around here real quick. And I was, and these were swords that were, these were training blades that were, I probably paid no more than seventy, eighty dollars for them. So I basically popped popped uh, both pin bamboo pins out. And because they were made by the same manufacturer, the hole lined up in the same spot for both. Um, I did drill a second hole, and but well, basically what I did is I took the wakazashi blade out and put it in, um, put it within the suka of the katana or daito. And and I was like, oh, the holes lined up, lined up perfectly. Drop the uh, bamboo pin in, put it down, put it on a drill press. Drilled a second hole, and guess what I used for a pin? I got a bamboo chopstick. Bamboo chopstick. Put it all the way in, got it wedged in, took a saw, a flex saw, slowly cut it off on one side, flipped it over, and it was perfect. Cut it off on the other side. It was double pinned. Now I took that same blade with that, with that uh, uh, katana handle and put it back in the katana saya, and it fit perfectly because they were both made by the same manufacturer. And you think about it, that could be an easy way to do that. Think about if uh, you have samurai that knew ninjutsu, you know? So you have ninja that were samurai, right? So, because it was a skill set. And they say if the samurai is like, you know what, I need a shorter blade for tonight's activities. Hmm, they'll take their wakazashi they might take it. They might even keep just use the wakazashi as itself, by it is, as is, which would still work. Or they might just, like I said, do what I did. Take the, exchange the blades. And then say if he needs, like I said, for clandestine activities, he just, it, when he's got the wakazashi blade with the katana um, suka, he could just use the wakazashi saya. So now you have a short, shorter, shorter blade and a shorter scabbard which work out really, really good, you know? And it won't bump into things at night. And it could fit right in the obi, nice and snug. It would work really well, you know? So, and then when he gets, you know, when he or she get home, that, that samurai ninja gets to home, they could then just go and pop the pins out, switch them back and ta-da, they have a nice daisho, still, daisho set still, and able to continue on with that. Sorry, there's a guy walking. On a skateboard. I know I got this thing for hanging out on rooftops and watching people. I don't, I don't know why I do that. Just curiosity, I guess. All right, it's interesting to see how people react when, or just how people live their lives when they don't know someone's watching them from up high. It's kind of funny. Anyway, back to this. So, I, I believe I paid maybe. No more than 200 for this. Um, it's really nice for what it's, you know, what it's capable of doing. It's, it, it, get, it would get the job done. Like I said, it's really nice. So, Rujin Swords. Okay. I believe I got this at uh, TrueSwords.com. I believe that's where I purchased this one from. So, if you get a chance... Uh, Rujin Swords, okay, and so this is a Shinobi Gatana made by them, okay, so I just want to say thank you, have a good night, take care.